welcome back to one of our infamous Snap Map streams. We've had a small hiatus. We've had holidays in America, holidays in France, holidays in England. But we're back and we have a special guest who will appear on either the left or right of me in the middle, in a minute. Oh, oh, one side. Yeah, on the right hand side. We have got Thomas Dane from Escalation Edge Software. Say hello, Tom. Hello, how's it going, everybody? I found to go, good, thanks. How are you? How's, how's your day been? And we could just chat. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's uh, nice and sunny in Dallas. And as you can see, we've got a, our Snap Map uh, stream whiteboard still up, which is very cool. So, very excited to talk about some of the uh, content that we're looking at today. I feel like from last time we did a stream, that um, art behind you has been vandalized a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's an demon, which is kind of cool. Um, and, you know, it's going to continue to grow, I imagine. So, we're not allowed to erase that whiteboard anymore. I like that. I think by the time we get like 16 streams down, it's going to be on the walls, they'll be drawing with crayons. That's cool. I like that. So the focus for this stream, if you've been following us on social, is a little different to what we did last time. What the lovely Tom has done is we've played through some community maps that are focused on like horror, atmosphere, spookiness. And Tom has had a look at what was actually used to make the map, the logic, the tools, the back end. And he's going to talk through some capture of those and why we think they're so awesome. That sound good to you, Tom? Sounds great. Uh, one of my favorite things this level is he has this little adventure kind of thing going on where you go through multiple rooms and you find this uh, scratch on the floor and you have to hit use on that. Mm. And you go to another room and uh, you have to find a hammer. Um, so it feels like an old adventure game, which is, which is pretty cool. So you're kind of peeking around the room looking for a hammer and like, ah, there it is. <laughs> and you pick up the hammer. Um, and all this is created in logic and there's no inventory system for this. So he's, he's, the author's kind of created this stuff uh, using the tools that, that they have available to them. So, and then you go into this final room and you're supposed to use the hammer on the X marks the spot. So you put an X on the wall, which is not something we invented. It's something he added. And boom, you get your key card. So the logic for that is is also pretty straightforward. You see here, here's this hammer on the ground. He's got a trigger sitting around it. And then um, you step down through the logic here. Whenever you enter it, it says, you know, hey, a hammer, which is kind of that dialogue, that text that he had. So once you find it, uh, and then after you've hit use on that trigger, you've picked up the hammer, and then he starts providing more narrative for you. Here he's just got a world text on the wall for that um, X marks the spot. And it says that kind of flavor dialogue, hey, that X is on the wall. It's carved on the wall there. Same thing, it says use hammer instead of pick up hammer there. So the player feels like, I'm going to hit use, and it's going to do this thing. And then boom, from there, as soon as you do that, it gives you the droppable that you need to continue through the rest of the level. Um, I love how he, the zombie, created some cool, spooky narrative without a lot of combat. So in here, um, a lot of sound effects and a lot of uh, uh, world text. And then he's got this kind of inner monologue with the player like what's going on here you know this mm. what's locked down in here what are these things and it's just a cool way to kind of express this inner dialogue with the player um there's only just a little bit of combat in this level you don't even have any really yeah fights um he's using vega dialogue says I'm, I'm dr peters i remember everything what have i done and it's just this <laughs> really cool sequence of course you have to end it all which i love and then you have to choose between heaven and hell it's a bit dark isn't it yeah it is pretty dark <laughs> But it's, uh, it's still fun. So heaven just doesn't work. The button doesn't work, which is pretty funny. And then you go click on hell. And of course, uh, yep, that's Gia, baby. Hell and... Dr. Peter has deserved it. He did some pretty horrible things, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's some pretty crazy stuff. So in this map, the first line you see is that your wife has left you. So highly positive Aww. stuff. Um, yeah, bad time. <laughs> he wants you to you know you can pull the trigger or punch your way out. So, well, if you pull the trigger, uh, here we go, like it just immediately kills you. <laughs> it says no wonder she left you, very dark. Um, but you can see here the way he's, he built this map is just starting out inside of a player blocking volume. So you're hidden in a little tiny room. And then it's just checking player input for uh, the fire weapon command. So if you press fire, it just kills the player, which is, uh, you know, you can do that if you want and make kind of a cool narrative sequence like it's done here. And then it just goes to an end game with uh, the highly uplifting no wonder she left you message. Um, and then, you know, we're going to rewind this and say, don't pull the trigger. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. cool. It does this throughout the whole map. You, if you pull the trigger anywhere, you, you, you end up dying. So here instead you melee, and now the room disappears, and you see this kind of cool setup. 
Um, next up, he has these really cool sequences where he spawns monsters in and disappears them right away. And it's really straightforward, but it, you know, you get ready for combat and then boop, it disappears. So um, real simple, you've got a box trigger uh, and then he fires off a hazard to show off a cool you know, fire effect. And then it's just a matter of showing the monster. And then as soon as the monster is hurt by the fire there, uh, it goes ahead and hides itself. Uh, ah, he's also cool. showing him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's showing a point of interest there too to put that little thought bubble over your head. Now this is one of the more fun parts of the level. He's got what I call the sticky container. This is like, this little guy will not leave you alone. It's just a neat little trick. Um, it follows you around the level and you have to jump away from it. And so the way you set that up is really cool. You have this trigger you enter where you start iterating through the players in the level. So if there were three players in the level, for every player, it spawns this container, and those containers just come into you. So every time you pick one up, it just loops and loops and loops in the same way. So you have to get away from it, which is, which is pretty fun. Um, another piece that he's done this level is really cool from the storytelling perspective. All these kind of spooky containers floating in space. It's like snapshots of memories and time. And they're just props placed in the level in a really interesting way. We hadn't seen a map like this in quite some time. Uh, and it's pretty cool to see, you know, kind of these little storytelling. And even some of them he makes boot appear like that. And that's pretty simple. You just have a trigger that does a show, and you can see it shows the chair and the table and everything. All that's pretty cool. Um, finally, there's a sequence here that I'd never seen done before in Snap, which is pretty slick. He's got this setup where the monster's blinking in and out and doing damage to you. And if you fight, it doesn't actually, you, you can't kill him. You just have to kind of wait it out. And so this monster, you never know where he's going to come, where he's going to where he's going to hit you. And the whole time it's trash talking you about fighting is useless and, and all this kind of fun stuff. It's a neat, neat kind of piece of level. So here you can see um, he's showing the monster and you see a bunch of logic in various directions. The first thing he's doing is locking the door so you can't progress, which is, which is obviously pretty straightforward. Next up is whenever the monster's percentage of health gets down 1% plus 99, he says you deserve this. So as soon as you knock him down health a little bit, it starts some some trash talk, and then he does it again and again, 97% and more. And then there's a bunch of messages here, fighting is useless. And so he's actually tying those messages to each one of the times you do damage to the monster, which is which is a pretty cool way to do it, and it keeps the player engaged. So he says, you know, you are nothing, and you know, other highly cool, motivating dark, dark <laughs> humor type stuff, but it's still it's still very fun. Uh, and then here we've got the timer. This is actually the crux of how you solve this there's this timer that just waits 35 seconds. So really you just have to survive in that room, uh, not pull the trigger, because you pull the trigger, you'll, you'll die, uh, and not get killed for 35 seconds. And once that's done, then he goes ahead and deletes the monster, which is pretty cool. And then here is the actual logic, which is the cool part that does the hiding and showing. It's got this repeater that starts, and on a random timer between uh, you know half a second and 1.2 seconds, this repeater is signaled uh, and it just keeps going on again and it does it infinitely until this monster is deleted. <laughs> I feel like any map that starts with, oh, your wife's left you, and let's walk yeah. through the memories of this failed relationship and think about why she left you is, is a yeah. nice way to spend an evening. <laughs> pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> so, definitely an interesting theme. We've had a couple of people um, asking if they were new to Snap Map, like, what would be the steps you'd give them to find good content and to easily download it? Well, so yeah, these maps in particular, it's pretty straightforward. If you go into Snap Map and search, um, we've likely been providing, I haven't been watching the stream in detail, but we've been providing these map, these <laughs> map codes. There we go. Um, what you go is you, you go to the Snap Map Hub and just go down to search, and you just type in that map ID, and you'll find the map directly. And there you can play any maps that we share on social or any maps that we share during the Twitch stream. You'll be able to go directly to them and play them. And then if you just want to explore new content, every week or so, um, we're constantly looking for cool maps and we feature uh, new maps on the featured <laughs> page, on the main page, and on the community hub. And then if, you're, if you've exhausted all of those, which is a whole lot, we basically, <laughs> uh, Sarah and us and all of us just play maps nonstop. We play all the cool content that comes through, the, through to us and check it out. And um, if you run through those, you can just jump into popular and see what is uh, algorithmically determined list of new popular maps that are being played right now. Uh, or just click on newest if you really are feeling brave and you want to... Uh, You're feeling very to brave to do yeah, that. <laughs> and that's a really important piece is because uh, as people are publishing new content, uh, trying to find those and seeing a couple plays and a couple upvotes, if you find something really awesome, the best way for us to find that content is uh, people play it and they upvote it and they provide you know content feedback to the authors. So that's that's kind of the loop for for finding cool content in Snap.